One of the things I love most about the 3DR Solo is the ability for autonomous flight right out of the box using a robust piece of software called Mission Planner. Mission Planner allows me to set up a course before I'm on location so that when I arrive all I have to do is click a few buttons and I'm good to go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a quick flight path. First I'm going to start by inserting my polygon points. The polygon points what they do is they basically create a geofence for my survey grid. After I have my polygon points set up, the next step is to insert a simple survey grid. So we go to Auto Waypoint Simple Grid, and you're going to see here you have one line. And as we adjust our distance between our lines, we're going to increase the uh, number of, oops, <laughs> not this one, but the next one. As you see, as we increase the lines or, the, or decrease the distance, we're going to have more paths that the UAV is going to fly. So something that covers quite a bit of area or more detail, you're going to want a lower altitude with more lines. And as you see, as I increase these points, if we have a camera set up in the flight controller, what we can do is these green points are areas where the drone will stop, take a picture, and continue. It's always good to add a little bit of overshoot in there so that it goes outside the area you're surveying so it covers everything. And once we have that set up, all we have to do is hit accept. Of course, keep our start from position at home so that where the drone is at the time it's starting up and you begin the mission, that's where it will start from. Once we hit accept, you will see it on our screen here. However, it looks like it's complete. We have a few more steps that we have to do. We have to insert a region of interest if we're going to be doing a area where, say, the drone rotates with the camera looking at a certain spot, which we can simply right click at any point where we want it to be and do, do set region of interest. Now we want this set all the way at the top before everything. So what we do, click, 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 all the way to position one. Now we have it at position one on our waypoints. Next thing we have to do is insert a takeoff command. So below position one, we're going to go add waypoint or add below. And we're going to see this is our point as we have 000 for our longitude and altitude. We're going to move that to position one as well. And we're going to set it as takeoff. Now at the very bottom for our last point, which is 29, we're going to add below and we're going to set that as return to launch. So that way when it completes the mission it's going to return to where it took off at its home point. Now that we have that all set up, all we have to do is click right waypoints to the solo. Click that. Yes, it's not going to write because we're not connected. Once we are connected, we'll, it will write. Once you write the waypoints, we want to read the waypoints to verify that it has the correct path set up. We don't want to have a mission set up somewhere across the city or a different state, click go, and the drone is going to actually try and fly to that position. So we're going to read our waypoints, make sure it's set up for the correct area. Once we verify that, we're good to go. Now on this panel right here, we have different altitude. This is our information basically of our distance, our speed. And we have another panel here which are actions. This is kind of like your joysticks for the solo. Once we're good to go, we're going to click arm right here. The props will start spinning and it's good to go. Once the props are spinning, we're going to this little drop down menu in the upper left and we're going to click mission start and do action. Once we click do action, the drone is going to take off to its first position, start the, the survey grid, and once it completes, return to home. Now connecting to the Solo, what that involves is actually connecting to the Solo's controller via Wi-Fi. So once you have everything powered on, we'll go to our Wi-Fi settings, and you'll see Solo Link listed. 
connect the solo link and then within mission planner we set our connection type to UDP click connect have our local port set as 14550 click OK once it does appear since we aren't connected nothing will happen here but once it appears you'll see your drone with the current heading altitude wherever it's sitting display it on our map now let's go out and see how she flies. All right, here we are at the park. We've already written our waypoints back at the office. Now all we have to do is start the flight. So what I've already done is I've wrote the waypoints, checked the waypoints, everything on my computer looks good. So now we're ready to start the mission. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arm the drone, do our mission start action, and the drone's gonna take off and do its mission. Here we go, we're arming it now. Props are spinning. Now all I have to do is click do action and the drone's gonna take off. Now it's good to always have the controller in hand just in case you do have to control where it's going for a controlled land. And as we see, As we see, the drone is rotating at the uh, towards our region of interest as it flies. So you'll see the camera aiming at our certain area that we had set up beforehand. It's doing the over sweep past our rally, our, way, our polygon grid that we drew for the over sweep so it makes sure that we're getting everything in the shot. Now this is the last sweep it's going to do. It's going to come home now and return to launch. So it's currently raising up. Uh, it's a standard feature in the 3DR to avoid anything that might be in the way. You can override it at any time. Now here we go, it's going to land. This is when it's vital to have the controller in your hand to control the descent. So once it gets about eye level or a little bit above, you can override the controls of the drone to make sure it lands. But I'm pretty confident here that uh, GPS signal is strong and we're going to land pretty close to where it's taken off. So uh, still, I'm not controlling the drone. I can't override it at any time. And the drone's taking off right on the pad where it took off from originally. Once the drone completes, it shuts off and the mission's complete. That's all there is to it. Very simple to do. Almost anyone can do it if you take time to learn. Right now, we're running a special on a 3DR Solo. Come on down to our store, visit us online, and we'll take care of you.